Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to learn the difference between removing versus deleting a photograph in Lightroom Classic. We'll start by selecting images from within either the All Photographs or the Previous Import folders in the Catalog panel, or we can select from any of our different folders. I'll select this first image, which is named AK underscore 0051, as well as the second one, 0057. Then in order to make a simple change to these two images, I'm going to simply add a color label. Then I'll choose the photo menu and select remove photos, or we could tap the delete or the backspace key on windows. Lightroom Classic displays a dialog asking if you want to remove however many photos that you have selected in grid view from the Lightroom catalog. If we choose Remove from Lightroom, the photos will be removed from the catalog but left exactly where they were on the hard drive. If we choose Delete from Disk, Lightroom Classic will move them to the trash on Mac or to the Recycle bin on Windows. Let's walk through these two options. First, I'll choose Remove from Lightroom. We can see that the two photos are no longer in our catalog, and if I navigate to the operating system, we can see that those two files are still exactly where they were on the hard drive. If I had removed these by accident, I could either choose to import them again by using the Import button, or we can right-click or Command-click on Mac on the Greenland folder, and then choose to synchronize the folder. I'll bypass showing the Import dialog before importing by unchecking it, and then choose Synchronize, and Lightroom will become aware of those two images again, and we can see them in the previous import folder. One thing to notice is that they lost the color label, and by default, they would have lost other changes as well, like ratings or metadata or other changes that we may have made in the develop module. All right, let's return to the Greenland folder. These two images are selected, and I'm going to add a green color label. Then I'll choose Photo, and then Remove Photos. This time I'm going to select Delete from Disk, and Lightroom will not only remove them from the catalog, but if we return to the operating system, we can see that Lightroom has put them in the trash. If I accidentally deleted them, I would need to select them from the trash and put them back into the folder that I want them to be in. Then in Lightroom Classic, again, we can right-click, choose Synchronize Folder, and then import these two images by choosing Synchronize. Returning to the Greenland folder, with these two images selected, I'm going to move to Loop View by clicking on the icon, or we can tap the E key. Now by default, even though I have both images selected, when I'm in Loop View and I choose Photo, and then Remove Photo, Lightroom Classic is only going to remove the active image, the one that we're looking at, from the catalog. In this case, I'll choose Cancel, and if I wanted to delete both of the images, I could choose Photo, and then Remove Selected Photos, or use the keyboard shortcut Shift-Delete on Mac, or Shift-Backspace on Windows. I'll go ahead and choose to remove these from Lightroom. I'll tap the G key in order to return to Grid View, and if I wanted to bypass the dialog when I'm deleting or removing images, we can use the following commands. I'll select Photo, and then Remove Photo from Catalog, or on Mac, hold down the Option key and tap Delete, or on Windows, it's the Alt key plus Backspace to remove the photos from the catalog but leave them exactly where they were on disk. If I want to remove the photos from the catalog and move them to the trash or the recycle bin without seeing a dialog, I can use the keyboard shortcut Command Option Shift on Mac or Control Alt Shift on Windows and then tap either the Delete or the Backspace key. Finally, let's select this image and then tap the X key in order to mark it with the reject flag. Then I can use the keyboard shortcut Command Delete on Mac or Control Delete on Windows, and that will display any files in the folder that have the reject flag applied so that we can quickly delete them. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.